Hi there, it's Ernest from Trip Astute. In this video, we're doing a gear review of the Osprey Farpoint 55 Travel Backpack and why it's one of my favorite packs for adventure travel. I have to admit that I still use a rolling suitcase for most of my travels, especially when traveling for business and within the US. However, when I've traveled to developing countries, I found that rolling suitcases are often problematic. Dirt roads, cobblestone pavement, and non-existent elevators can make lugging a suitcase pretty cumbersome. Enter the travel backpack. Now there are a ton of different backpacks on the market today, and depending on your travel type or needs, there are endless options and features available. Some are going to be geared for hikers who want more support and will be carrying their pack for hours on the trail, while others are geared for travelers. There's no one perfect bag, but for me, one has come closer than any other, and that's the Osprey Farpoint 55 Travel Backpack. The Osprey Farpoint 55 comes in two sizes, a small medium model and a medium large model. The pack I use is the small medium model, which has a capacity of 52 liters instead of the 55 found on the large size. This is the maximum capacity with the detachable day pack. Yeah, it actually includes a separate pack that you can use as your daily backpack. The reason I opted for the small medium model is that it seems to fit the overhead bin for most airlines, so I don't have to check in the bag. It doesn't technically meet the dimensions of a carry-on bag, but I've never had the airline force me to check it in due to its size. Plus, it easily slides into the overhead bin without any problems. Keep in mind, though, that you will need to detach the day pack in order for it to fit. Here are the top 10 features that make this bag so awesome. Number one, great suspension and compression. The pack has a light wire frame, great hip belt, and compression straps in the front. The weight seems to be centered well and distributed through the hip. Number two, detachable day pack. As I mentioned earlier, the pack includes a detachable day pack. I have to admit that I barely ever keep the day pack attached to the larger bag, but it's nice having the option. When I've traveled with the bag, I usually end up putting the smaller pack on the front of my body, kangaroo style. The day pack has become my go-to bag for day trips and hikes. It not only has a sternum strap, but also small touches like a built-in whistle. Like other Osprey packs that I own, it looks great and is very functional. Number three, lightweight and durable. The fabric is very lightweight and extremely durable. My bag survived many scrapes along the way, as well as being tossed from the top of buses. None of the seams or fabric ever tore. Also, the bag got soaked several times during trips, but it dried quickly. Number four, mesh back. One of the worst parts of wearing a backpack is having a sweaty back. That's still an issue with this pack, but I love that this backpack has a mesh back. It really helps with airflow and contact on my back. Number five, stowaway back panel. The backpack straps can be tucked and zipped away in case you need to check in your bag. This not only makes it look and feel like a duffel bag, but it keeps your straps from getting accidentally tangled onto objects or compartments. Number six, padded handles. Another small touch, but highly useful and comfortable, especially when having to load your bag onto a plane and overhead compartment. Number seven, expandability. The bottom of the bag has straps in case you need to carry a sleeping bag. While I haven't needed this feature, it's nice that it's included. Number eight, large zipper opening. Most backpacks have a more traditional top opening, which forces you to pack from the bottom of the bag to the top. This backpack has more of a suitcase style opening, which gives you plenty of room to pack and fit items. I find this to be very helpful when getting items in and out of the bag. Number nine, lockable zippers. The main compartment zipper is also designed to be locked, which is perfect if you plan to check in your bag or store any valuables when left in your hotel or hostel room. Number 10, great warranty and customer service. During my last trip with my backpack, I ended up breaking one of the ties attached to the zipper. I emailed Osprey and asked if I could get a replacement for the tie, and they promptly sent me two replacement ties. It was really nice to know that the company stands by their products and customers. I highly recommend using packing cubes with the suitcase. It really helps with maximizing the space in the pack. In terms of negatives, I do wish that the bag would meet the exact carry-on specs, so I wouldn't have to worry about it being measured or questioned at the airport. Also, I would prefer a little more depth on the elastic pockets on the side of the day pack. It's not horrible, but some extra depth would better secure water bottles and other items. Overall, this is definitely a great pack for a traveler looking for an adventure trip backpack. 
I actually contemplated getting this backpack or getting one with wheels built in, such as the Osprey Ozone series. While having a convertible pack has its merits, I was really happy with my choice of the Farpoint backpack. For me, having a traditional rolling suitcase and a backpack seems to meet my travel needs and requirements. And that's our gear review. Do you use an Osprey Farpoint or have a backpack that you recommend? If so, please let us know in the comment section below. I've included Amazon links to products mentioned in this video. Tripasuit does get a percentage if you use our link. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps us to continue building content for this channel. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Also, check out our gear review playlist for more videos like this one. Until next time, travel safe and travel smart.